Now, when we look at something like assemblies, this is where that value of the kind of splitting operations that we did back in Wireworks really comes to fruition. And this is the ability to translate those into bendable components for fabrication. So yeah, just nice to show, hey, we recognize that even though Revit models these, uh, you know, a bent piece of tube as multiple parts that in Stratus, we're able to kind of process those and think about them as they would be in real life, not, uh, not so much how they exist in back in Revit. So diving back into that package, and we can see uh, the kind of breakdown here. And if they want, they can certainly put on the color filtering here and see that kind of break points a little more clearly if they want. But yeah, there's a, there's a, a little bit of value from me, from the viewer uh, directly in the package here. What's nice is we can also see things like the list of assemblies that are available here. Now, this is where there's different reports that you can even pick from the package viewer, the assembly package items, assemblies conduit. So this one is a good report to show for the conduit because it tells us what's the material of that, what's its size, what's its cut length, how many bends are in there and the like. And we can go check certain options on and see which ones those were. A little easier to see when you don't have display modes on for sure. And we can cycle ourselves through what exists in this, in this package from a view perspective and from a data perspective. 